You know, it's funny when Marvel, who's been trying to do these TV show spinoffs and whatnot, trying to make them matter, but they never really do. And the boys is able to do it with its first spinoff right off the bat. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey, guys, this is my review for season one of Gen V, the spinoff to the boys. This takes place pretty much right after the events of season three, and it's definitely a coincider to what season four will be. If, I know that there's some who will say, oh, maybe you need to watch it. You, you will be kind of left out of the loop and Marvel's been kind of doing a really half-assed job at that. Gen V does it, but does it well. And I have to give Kripke credit again. The man who doesn't really plan, but just kind of lets chaos form into excellence, it's working here. Gen V I expect it to be okay. I expect it to be decent. I did not accept it to be exceptional. It has all of the mannerisms, the humor, the brutality, the very much vocal voice about current day politics, ideologies, uh, social media, and it's able to parody it to a fucking insulting degree, as well as some really solid characters. I thought that all of the cast were going to be meh, but you really actually come to care about them. You actually come to care about who they are, not only through their tragic backstories or whatever the fuck they've got going on, because usually everyone in the show has something going on, but also you enjoy their traits about who they are as heroes who they are and who they view themselves in this world. And hell, there's a character who goes through a very specific arc that is far better portrayed in this than it has been in multiple movies from a certain previous Fox affiliate. I liked almost everything about Gen V. I keep suggesting it to people who are fan of the boys. You're gonna laugh at the humor. You're gonna get pulled into the story. I was watching it weekly. The fact that it's taking me this long to talk about it is kind of a bit surprising and that might be because of how it ends it just kind of ends and that might be a little bit ew, for some people and i'm not going to blame you if anything the finale is kind of one of the weakest episodes which is unfortunate because the show did such a good job at making you want to watch each episode and so does the finale but the finale is one of the shortest episodes of the season and it does feel like there's a little bit left off the table that you just you could have used a little bit more and it's definitely going to be shown off in the boys i i guarantee fucking tea it you're going to hear kind of the results of what you want to know in the boys and then it'll come back to gen v because apparently that's what's going to happen it's going to be one back and forth like this because the the success of the show has changed kripsky's strategy for um uh, for the boys he was originally going to do five seasons but then he made a joke about how he left supernatural after five seasons and he should have the award for being the worst judge of character in terms of a show's longevity i i, I love that little good dig at himself gen v has some great social commentary some great fucking picks and like jabs at social commentary it is able to keep itself relevant and stay in that raunchy very mature very bombastic and over the top sort of style that we've expected from the boys but it's able to make it feel both connected but on its own i enjoyed the college aspect of it but also just the shady shady materials that is we've come to know from the show but it, it's able to entreat intertwine that into the fabric of the show itself there's also a character who's in this who's been in the boys for a couple of seasons now who truly shows their colors in a in one episode and it has now made me even more intrigued about that character and i am dying to see what they do with that character in season four of the boys that's how good gen v is you're gonna enjoy it you're gonna laugh you're gonna be shocked you're going to be pulled into the character's drama. You're going to get pulled into the story. Everything about it is going to be great right up until the end where it kind of whacks you in the nuts. And then it's like, ha ha, you got to wait now. So, yes, the finale is probably the biggest oof I could say from this show. But I feel like it has its warrant for its length. It does not waste anything. If anything, there could have been more. And I feel that the overall consistency of quality is 
throughout the entire show. There's something that's kind of been a back and forth with the boys. Season one was like, okay, really good start, and then good ending, and then boys season two, same there. Really good start, really good ending, and then boys season three, really good for a lot, up until kind of the ending where it you know, that ball tap again. I feel that Gen V is on the same level as season three. It's very, very enjoyable. I really enjoy it. If you are a fan of The Boys, I would highly recommend you watch it because it's gonna be integral to the show and to the Boys universe or Amazon Boys universe. There's also some really good fucking jokes that are basically pointed at Amazon. So that's also a great trait. It's hilarious that Amazon can have something like The Boys and something like rings of power both on its platform and they're just two polar fucking opposites in terms of what one is to the other it's amazing but for my review about gen v season one i am going to give it a six out of seven i really really recommend it this is one of the best surprises of the year for me i cannot wait for season four of the boys and i cannot wait for season two of gen v Hope you guys enjoyed this review, but those are my thoughts about this. Let me know what you guys have to say. Have you guys watched it yet? What did you think about it? What was your favorite little bit from it? If you want to say kind of without spoiling it, if you, if you can, I know that's kind of what I asked is spoilers, but it's been out for a little while now, so I guess we can talk about it. But that's all for me, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.